Flatlining connects two or more layers of fabric together, allowing them to be used as if they were one piece of fabric. Find the bag body piece with the flat lining into it. Remove the pins and iron the pieces flat. Place both right side down on the cutting table. The outer fabric should be on the bottom. Be sure that the grain lines remain matched and pin the two layers together starting from the center. Place pins about four inches apart, alternating the direction. Be sure that both layers of fabric remain flat. Continue pinning in this fashion until both layers of fabric are held securely in place. If needed, add additional pins at the corners and around the stitch line. Once pinned together, use a single thread of silamide and a hand sewing needle to thread trace the pocket placements and strap placements. Do not tie a knot in your thread. Use a tailor's tack at the beginning and end to hold your thread in place. Be sure to stitch through both layers of fabric so that your thread tracing is visible from the right side as well. While you are thread tracing, keep your project as flat as possible against the table. This will help prevent the layers of fabric from shifting as you sew. Use a tailor's tack at each corner to help define the corner on the right side. This will help you be more accurate in your pocket placement later on. When finished, you should have two lines for strap placement, a box for the gathered pocket, a box for the pleated pocket, and a place for the pocket flap. The thread tracing needs to go through both layers of fabric and should be visible from the right side. On the sewing machine, set the stitch width to zero and the stitch length to four. Place the fabric under the presser foot. Line up the outer edge of the presser foot with the stitch line. Hold the beginning threads and start stitching. Do not back stitch. Continue sewing using the edge of the presser foot and the stitch line as a guide. You should be sewing a quarter inch away from the stitch line. Sew until you reach the other edge of the fabric. Do not turn any corners except for the inner corners around the bag bottom where you have no other choice. When you reach a quarter inch from that corner, use the hand crank to place the needle down, lift the presser foot, and turn your fabric. Line up the edge of the presser foot with the next line, put the presser foot down, and continue sewing until you reach the next corner. Stitch all the way to the edge of the fabric. Do not back stitch. Make sure the needle is in the upright position. Lift the presser foot and pull the work out. Clip your threads at the beginning and end. 
Turn the fabric and stitch along the next edge. Continue until you have sewn around each side of the fabric. Remove the pins and press it flat. The two layers of fabric should be held together and can now be treated as one. Next, prepare the lining for the bag body. Use a single thread of silamide to thread trace the placement for the inner pocket. Use a tailor's tack instead of a knot to hold your thread in place at the beginning and end. Use a tailor's tack to mark the notch at the center of the bottom edge. Mark the top edge of each corner with the tailor's tack as well. This helps to better define the corners, allowing you to place your inner pocket more accurately. With your flat lining done and your lining prepared, you are ready to move on to constructing your pocket.